Introducing uh, firstly this evening, he'll fight from the uh, blue corner. He weighed in at 70.6 kilograms. Trains at the Bulldog Gymnasium in North Sydney. He's appeared on four previous occasions for two victories. Please make welcome from the blue corner, Dennis Bellin. And his opponent this evening across the ring, he'll fight from the red corner. He hails from a Randwick and is trained by Matt Gardner from the Black Belt Pro Gymnasium. He has appeared on one previous occasion, on eight previous occasions for four victories. Fight fans, please make welcome Piers Set Boss. Okay, okay all is in ready in a junior middleweight contest, three by two minute rounds. The much taller Dennis Balin, left of screen from Bulldog Gym in North Sydney, taking on Black Belt Pro's Piers Sivos on the right of screen. Final instructions. And if you've just joined us, folks, here from the Hurstville Civic Centre, the final of the four way threat. Heavyweight is set. It will be Steve Fielding and humble Wissam Al Dahabi. Should be an absolute corker later in the night. And we are building up to that main event. The whole of Australia has been waiting for the undefeated, unbreakable Simon Black from the Phoenix Gym in Canberra against Shannon Shaggy King. Here we go, round number one. Referee just calling break here. Both men have to pay a bit closer attention. Balin in the blue gloves, black and gold trunks. Short range knees there from Sivos. Well, Sivos is uh, out of the Black Belt Pro gym, and uh, the boys from Black Belt Pro always well prepared, as are the Bulldog gym uh, crew. So this is going to be an interesting battle for sure, but uh, Sivos uh, already looking to have some bad intentions, Michael. Got the camouflage trunks on, always a, a warning sign, Hammer. <laughs> when he dressed in the army greens. Because there's any bushes around, he's going to hide in them. <laughs> oh, you're not going to see his shorts. <laughs> Here's Sivos, doing well. He's a... Looks like a little Vandalay Silva from Pride, doesn't he, Hammer? He <laughs> does. Powerfully built uh, fighter, Sivos. Comes forward yet again, throws caution to the wind and goes in blazing. Dennis Balin needs to uh, just fire straight, maybe use his reach, push kick, and uh, keep him on the outside. All tied up again, short range knee to the midsection from Pierce Sivos. Referee shouting all instructions in tie here tonight. Interesting to see. High knee there, Sivos backs. Balin against the ropes. Balin tries to turn him around, works a short range knee to the upper right rib gauge. Again, referee calls Yut, separates both men. Final seconds here of the first round. A good one, I feel, for Pierre Sivos. A real feeling out process for Dennis Balin, and he'll need to get on his bike and start working a lot harder in the second stanza. Again, Michael, we just go back to that uh, what I spoke about earlier with the guys uh, always intent to hook in and get into the grapple all the time. I'd like to see him working at range a bit more. And uh, a lot of fighters feel the necessity to grapple up because it's a Thai, uh, Thai boxing fight. But uh, in fact, especially when you look at the more accomplished Thai boxers from Queensland, they don't grapple unless it's, uh, unless it's there. They don't go looking for it unless it happens to happen. And uh, I suppose when you have... Uh, the fighters that are lesser experienced, um, especially from, uh, I suppose, Victoria and uh, New South Wales, they tend to, uh, to try and grapple up a little too much when it's a tie rules fight. Comments there from the former Australian cruiserweight champion, the Hammer Mark Castanini, with myself, the voice Michael Chevello. Hope you're enjoying it, folks. Round two of this junior middleweight contest from the Hurstville Civic Centre in Sydney. Good front kick and hand combinations over the top there. From the little Vin Diesel, Pierce Sivos in the camouflage trunks. Just takes down Dennis Balin. Good takedown as well it was. So Sivos looking comfortable here in the second round. I thought he owned the first round 10-9 and a big thumping leg kick to the outside left thigh. Just chops out the legs from under Dennis Balin. Well, that's uh, good tactics from Sivos. He's working the round kicks well. And uh, again, they tie up for the grapple and they try and get those knee strikes happening. Perhaps it's the, uh, the fact that the knee strikes uh, do score so well that they're actually looking to uh, land so many of them. 
but uh, you can do some damage on the outside. Nice step up the knee there again from uh, from Dennis Balin, but uh, he needs to use his reach obviously a lot more. Piers Sivos is setting the tempo in this round yet again. Leading out with that left front kick, then the hand combinations over the top. Double right hand through the guard there of Dennis Balin. Nice work from Piers Sivos. He's actually got a punch up. He's he does, punch, doesn't he? He's got a punch upstairs. But uh, such as the height and reach advantage. Ooh, big leg kick again from Sivos. Reminds me of when Alex Tui beat Cash the Flash Gill for his world title hammer. He had to punch up constantly because Cash Gill was one of the tallest junior middleweights in the history of the game. He was, he was. And again, uh, Sivos. Beautiful uh, leg work from him, taking out the supporting leg of, uh, of Balin. So, Sivos doing it nicely thus far, and again, take down, knee the supporting leg. Beautiful work from Sivos. This is a brave effort from Dennis Balin, but Sivos is owning him here in the second round, and lock that one away. It's a little Pierce Sivos, two rounds to nil on my unofficial scorecard, as the team from the Bulldog Gym give Dennis Bailey some much needed instruction. Well, uh, if I was in uh, Balin's corner, I'd be telling him to use his push kick a lot more, stay on the outside, and uh, just watch for that linear forward attacks from Sivos. Sivos, well, he's doing it all good at the moment, shutting down Balin, not letting him uh, use his reach, getting into the grapple and working on the inside, which, of course, is a shorter fighter, and he really needs to work on the inside and cut out that reach advantage. He's doing a beautiful job, this uh, Pierre Sivos. OK, third and final round. Two rounds to nil. We've got him for Pierre Sivos. And let's see if Balin can pull something out here in the final. Have a look at Sivos just tenderising up the quadricep area on both legs. Those corking knees to the thighs and dumps him on top of that ISEC logo, dead centre of the ring. Again, uh, Sivos showing a lot of aggression coming forward yet again and uh, a lot of strength when it comes down to a battle of strength uh, Sivos is also a lot stronger just to uh, let you guys into a little bit of an insight keep an eye out on the tally guides we've got uh, a battle coming up via the uh, promoters of the evolution series from Queensland it is uh, something special it is not an, a public event and you'll only see it on Fox Sports your sport leader and it's a battle between John Wayne Parr and uh, one lop and uh, obviously a full undercard of, of boxing and kickboxing that will be held at the Brisbane Convention Centre and uh, you, the only way you're going to be able to see it because it's a, fully, a full corporate event is of course uh, on Fox Sports so keep an eye out that uh, event either late June or early July uh, will be on your program schedule so keep an eye out for that one thought I'd uh, let you in a bit of a, a little bit of scoop thank you Hammer and uh, that's going to be something special we'll be there for it it's going to be a great one big leg kick there from Pierre Sivos Dennis Balin has taken more battering than a piece of flake. Gets back up to his feet. But Sivos in control here, as he was for the two previous rounds. And Balin has to pull something out of somewhere, Hammer, because the seconds are ticking against him now. Well, he certainly uh, needs to put some uh, good scoring on the cards. Maybe use, if he wants to get into the knee, uh, the clinching, use the long range knee strikes. There's no need for him to grapple up close and uh, get into a test of strength with Sivos, because obviously Sivos in the grapple is a lot stronger. Doubles up on the jab, right hand, short right hand to the side of the jaw and the outside thigh kick. Good combination work there from Pierce Sivos. Into the third and final round, a hard-fought fight from both these young men. But Piers Sivos will no doubt get the nod in this junior middleweight matchup. Well, a very strong competitor, Sivos, and uh, someone you'll see a lot more of. Have a look at that. He just kicked out the supporting leg, took him right out, Sivos. And that's a testament to his strength. Nice round kick, and again, he, he sends a Balin down. This bout has been awarded to the red corner, Pierre. He's got it, no doubt about it whatsoever. Piers Sivos from Black Belt Pro takes the unanimous decision. And he's happy about it. And someone, as the Hammer said, we are going to see plenty more of tearing up the junior middleweight rankings. Piers Sivos.